USB-C is amazing. With a single cable, we can transfer data and charge almost any new device. But it's also incredibly confusing because every cable looks the exact same and no cable is alike. Luckily, I have an answer. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you exactly which USB-C cable to buy. It's going to be the fastest cable. It's going to work with every device you own, and it's also going to have the highest charging rate available. And best of all, the specs are printed on the cable itself, so this will never be a problem for you again. Let's get into this video. This video is sponsored by Clickasnap, which is a brand new social media platform. It's one part Instagram, one part Shutterstock, and one part Google AdSense all wrapped into one. The most unique element of Clickasnap is that you get paid up to $9 for every 1,000 views your images get, which is honestly much more than we get paid on YouTube. And if you want, you can choose to sell your photos on the platform as well. Unlike every other social media platform with Clickasnap, you don't have to give up your image rights, you don't have to figure out how to game some algorithm, and there's no data harvesting or selling to third-party entities. If you're a photographer looking for a new way to display your work while also making money, join Clickasnap in the link below. So here's the deal. USB-C is just the shape of this plug. It can be USB 2, USB 3, USB 4, or even Thunderbolt. Each port and each cable can transfer data at 480 megabits per second, 5, 10, 20, or 40 gigabits per second, and almost none of these cables will ever tell you what these numbers are. The only way to test this is just to plug it into certain devices and see if they work. The problem is that in many cases they will work, just not up to the highest speed. Here's one of the 5,000 USB-C cables I have in this office. I have no no clue what the speeds are for this. I'm going to plug in the fastest SSD that I have and let's see how fast I can transfer data. So I am currently transferring this data at 38 megabytes per second. Now let's plug in another USB-C cable. That one hit 359 megabytes per second. So the second cable is literally 10 times faster than the first, but I still don't know the specs of either because maybe the SSD is the bottleneck. I'm not sure if I'm reaching the maximum speeds of this cable or the maximum speeds of this SSD. Now to make things even more complicated, the speed of a cable and the maximum wattage of a cable are two very independent things. And just like it's difficult to figure out the actual speed of a cable, it's also almost impossible to figure out the wattage of a cable. This is the Octavo 200 watt USB charger. And this is the first charger I've ever seen that comes with this little LCD screen, which tells you exactly how much wattage you're pulling from each one of these ports. So as you can see, this incredibly slow cable is actually pretty decent when it comes to wattage. This is a 60 watt connection. And if I look up here and I can check my iStat menu, you can see that it actually is connected at 60 watts here. Here's a very fast cable that I bought off Amazon last year. This one has USB-A on one side and USB-C on the other. Let's plug this into the USB-A port and then we'll plug the other side into the MacBook. You can see this one is connected at seven watts, just seven watts. Now, unless you had this charger or the third party app that I have, you would never know that you're getting seven rather than 100 watts of charging speed. I think this is a Thunderbolt cable, but it doesn't say that on the cable. So I honestly, I can't remember anymore. All right, this one is also 60 watts, which means it is not a Thunderbolt cable. This is a Thunderbolt 4 cable. I know because it actually says on the device itself. Let's plug this in and see. It's jumping between like 70, 72 watts. But if I check on this iStat software here, you'll see that it's actually connected at 100 watts. Now the laptop, will not accept 100 full watts all the time. And that's what this charger is actually telling us. And as the laptop gets closer and closer to 100%, it's gonna start pulling less and less and less. So as you can see, I'm charging five different devices and I can see the wattage of each one. I really like this charger. However, it's a hundred bucks and it's also incredibly large and heavy. If you don't wanna spend that much and you're looking for something lighter, I highly recommend this one. It has seven ports and it claims to have a maximum output of 300 watts. I'm not sure how that's possible and I personally don't have any way of testing that, but people on Amazon claim that they have. And for 50 bucks, I feel like this is the bargain of the century. I'll link this in the description as well. 
So to wrap this video up, what do we need? We need the fastest cable possible, and we also need it to be backwards compatible. We want it to be able to plug into any USB-C device and work no matter the speed. We also need the specs of the cable printed on the cable itself, so we are never again confused about what our cables are capable of doing. The top of the line USB-C cables that you can get right now are Thunderbolt 4 cables. Every certified Thunderbolt 4 cable has at least 40 gigabits per second speed. It has 32 gigabits per second PCIe data transfer. It can support up to two 4K displays and it will transfer at least 100 watts. And Thunderbolt 4 is backwards compatible with any USB-C cable as well. So you can plug it into any device and it will work. But wait, there is one more standard that has just changed. Some devices can accept up to 240 watts of power over a USB-C cable. Thunderbolt 4 is only guaranteed up to 100 watts. So what we need is a Thunderbolt 4 cable that specifically can transfer up to 240 watts. And a week or two ago, when I started working on this video, there was only one Thunderbolt cable on Amazon that could also transfer at 240 watts. I just checked on this and now there are tons of cables that can do this and they're all around $20. Now, each one of these cables does show Thunderbolt 4 on the device itself. It's printed on the cable, which is what we want. But only a few of them also print 240 watts, and that is what we need. We want all of the specs to be printed on our cables so that we know exactly what we're working with. So I'm going to link to a couple of these cables below. These are the fastest cables you can buy. They are totally backwards compatible. They have the maximum 240 watt transfer speeds and they have this information printed on the cable themselves. We will never have to worry about this confusing crap again until USB 4 80 gigabits per second comes out soon and then we might have to start all over again. Are you a photographer? Well, I have two things you're going to be interested in. One, we have a photography contest going on right now for landscape photography. It's 100% free to join. You can check it out at fstoppers.com slash contest. We're gonna be giving away $1,000 cash to the grand prize winner, as well as 20 of our tutorials from the F-Stoppers store. Check it out right now. Like I said, it's totally for free. And also the largest photography sale of the entire year is going on right now. And I think it's got like three days left. It's called Five Day Deal. And I know this sounds ridiculous, but for around $160, you can get $5,500 worth of stuff. F Stoppers is putting up a tutorial that we did with Peter Hurley, as well as the landscape photography tutorial, photographing the world that we filmed with Elia Licardi in both New Zealand and in Iceland. We sell this tutorial for $300 on its own, but right now you can get it for 160 bucks plus $5,000 worth of other stuff. I know it sounds insane. At the very least, click on the link in the description, check it out. I guarantee you're gonna find some stuff that you're interested in.